Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be of the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad, the Prophet, and upon his pure family. Our respective viewers, peace be upon you, and welcome to Imam Hussein. A series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes in his right by the Prophet of Islam until we end up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I am honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in today's episode, we will continue talking about the impact and influence of Imam Hussein's dream. Respected viewers, this beautiful story, the one we've told in the previous episode, is one of the treasures of Ahlul Bayt in it are many lessons from the way experience and interpret dreams and situations of great stress and anxiety in our lives to the gentle behavior of a son towards his father. Yet perhaps the greatest lesson is in the living embodiment of patience and certainty demonstrated by Ali ibn al Hussein alayhim as -salam. To avenge respected viewers person receiving news that they are to die even due to a natural cause or disease is a rightly terrifying experience. Imagine then how you would react to news that you would die in battle. At that point in history of respected viewers, death in battle was not a simple as quick passing due to a bullet or an explosion. It was a such bloodier, more agonizing prospect. Yet, Imam al-Sajjah's response showed that the important issue was not whether one would die or even how one would die, but why one would die and what was the cause that one would die for. Our respected viewers, if we are to die righteously, Imam al-Sajjah said, then we have no need for concern. The only thing that mattered was that they might die for the sake of what is true and right. Anything else, respected viewers, was merely an afterthought. The important question we must ask is what leads a human being to think this way? The answer lies in certainty. If one has certainty of his Lord, of the hereafter, of the bodily resurrection, and of the day of reckoning than death for the sake of what is right is not frightening at all. Far from something one might seek, respected viewers, to escape, it is something one would rush towards because it's among the greatest of deeds a person may obtain. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time, al hajj al-Muntadar, to interpret the message of his grandfather who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.